testing, testing. All right. My mic is on. That's crazy. Look, relate to you, I can't if you's a fake nigga When level four in the state with your mistakes get you Rap niggas, they just want a double date with you Twit pick and show these hoes that they affiliate with you Labels used to treating rappers like a slave, nigga Starving artists, just be happy with your fame, nigga Shit changed, now it's such a different game All the niggas like myself is controlling everything If you pay attention, see exactly what I mean Fuck the middleman I said that in 2003 Was 18, white Lincoln, chrome feet Black 40 was my pillow, every night I go to sleep Grown niggas treat me like they OG Holding on to every word that the tiny loaf speaks I had a vision that nobody else could see Sold my shit to D-Mac, a little less than 10 G's Brought my grocery bag of cash straight to Black Sam He matched the nigga, next day we went to Sam Ash He bought a Pro Tools in the microphone Studio was far from plush But them lights was on Couple hundred thousand stashed At my mama's home Real estate in Atlanta But ain't nobody know Mac 11's in the safe Hidden in the flow My bro did it like nobody That I've ever known Screens on every wall With 16 camera angles Double pane bulletproof glass Pushing past the haters Cuban links and Rolexes Photo check from Epic This industry ain't gotta like us But they gon' respect it Built the label up from money we were saving up. No details to the statue of limitations up. Couple niggas got flipped trying to play with us. The demonstrations speak loud, so I ain't saying much. Was a charismatic nigga, I don't play as much. Cause life is real when you live it in a place like us. School pictures cracking smiles, now my face is stuck. Shell shocked to see how much they really hated us. Couldn't keep a kind heart, get your hatred up. Street smarts, nigga get your information up Watching belly smoking blunts, take Jamaican puffs One day I'ma have a house and car like Jamaican cuz Credits roll back to stress pound breaking up Had to fight before we hustled and it made us tough Early 90s neighbors rooster used to wake us up Mama had a bucket and a shack but we ain't make a fuss Blue cutlass, no license, 380 tucks 96 Caprice, both the fast was saving up they getting packed out if niggas try to fade with us. Crenshaw, Sloss, and True Stories. Oh, play the drums. still have a great show Millie what's up with you Millie what's up we're gonna have a great show but you know moment of silence My Spain. Um, civility. We're gonna get into the shit. We're gonna talk about all this stuff that's been going down. But let me tell you what I noticed in this this here culture. Um, 
and I hate it, right? Because sometimes they, they try to make you throw your, your situation away because people in the urban areas, they take pride in um, ignorance. Ignorance is a billion dollar business. Ignorance is a billion dollar business. Shout out to everybody that is doing their thing, profiting off of, profiting off the 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 market. It's de it's definitely there if you want to participate. And I can't even. Um, I'm not hating when I speak up on it. I'm part of this culture, right? It's not a hip hop culture. Not it. But the people of color, they already got us, like, sectioned off in the area, right? So they already assume we're going to behave a certain way. So when the majority of us, we fall into that whole um, stereotype where we can't wait to crash out and throw it all away, and we take pride in that. And then another, a whole nother culture is capitalizing off of that. Check it out, TV. Kush was good with you as they coming in. Um... And just to let y'all know, we're going to talk about, we got to talk about Sub-Zero and, and, and Unkase, right? We're definitely going to talk about that. Um, we go, we, we're going to jump around. We got immigrants taking over people's houses, and they got gun rights. They got gun laws. Um, we're going to jump around. Academics. Academics. Academic show, you, you, you probably, you and your whole squad, y'all some, y'all some wild boys. You, Adam22, uh, Poetic Flock, I don't know what's going on with you dudes. Um, so infatuated and measuring man's, uh, the man size and all that. But this dude got loose as a goose. He wanted all the secret. He wanted to see loose cannons. Joint man, <sighs> DJ Academics. So we're gonna talk about all of that, but before we do that, you know, young lady passed away, and another one was critically hurt, I believe, or was it two women that passed away? Anyway, I got the article right here, so I will find out what happened. But they 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 said that the guy who did this turned himself in. So let's get the facts clear before I start talking on it. The stabbing death of Samaya Spain, 19 years old, y'all, has devastated her close-knit friends and family, including her father, Stephen. Oh, man. My condolences to the friends and family of Samaya Spain. Five days after 19-year-old twin sister was attacked outside a Brooklyn deli, and one of them was fatally stabbed. The man accused in the killing was surrendered to the authorities. It's not going to go good for him. You understand? Police investigators have said that the man, V.O. Kelly, 20, armed himself with a knife after his sisters, after the sisters rejected his advances. Now, where they do this at, bro? Where they do this at? In the hood. This, this is very common. Not the stabbing part, right? But this has been. This has been. Frankie Blanca was good, bro. Salute to the whole face mom in the building. Millie's here. Shout out to Sonia Smith. Shout out to the general splashing. You know, they coming in. Shout out Kush and his wisdom. Shout out Pretty Divine. They coming in. They coming in. It's Friday night. I'll be here for a minute. You understand? I'll be here. I might get some. I might get some music. I don't know. We got to see. Before we get into the to, into the nonsense, because the nonsense we will get into. Wax dog in the building. 
Man, I feel like I ain't seen y'all forever. I miss you guys. Got mother effing wax dog in the building. Shout it out. Miss you guys, man. Um, I see China Brim is over there doing his thing. China Brim had twelve hundred people in the building last night on the live. That's that's good, China. That's good. Shout out to the old five the movement. Um. I want to talk about this here, right? I, I, oh, it's, it's nasty work, right? But we, we, we know how it is. If you're from the hood, you know how it is, right? But don't nobody really stop it. Let me just get on my soapbox for a second, and then we're gonna have all the fun in the world, right? We can clown. I'm down to clown all around the town, but first we got to handle business because our little sister passed away needlessly. See, none of that had to happen. And we can't blame ourselves for someone's actions, but collectively, no one ever cared when there was cat calls out of women. She's walking down the block, right? And she's just trying to get to work and home every day, bro. Every day she got put up with no nonsense niggas, cat calling. Bro, you don't got nothing going on for yourself. I don't even know why. What gave you the audacity? You understand? Big killers in the house. Listen, not the little one. You understand? Big killers in the house. Gift and the curse podcast. Do go subscribe. I don't know what gave you the audacity to even highlight it, huh? But this is how it's always been. But that ain't nothing. We, You know what I'm saying? Cat calls, you can get that anywhere, right? They do that in a civil neighborhood. Where we always go left, I'm going to tell you right now. Turn down the advance. And this is the part I never got. And this is the part that always got me upset right here. Stupid bitch. Didn't nobody want your funky ass anyway. Yo, bro, you did want her funky ass in your face, nigga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you, you wanted all of that. Right? And because the majority of guys that sit there and giggle like it's cute or, yo, Yo, thank you. I know what song I want to play now. But it's crazy because uh, I did this over here intentionally so my internet wouldn't mess up. And then as soon as I started the show, I'm talking about as soon as I started the show, the internet just started wowing. I was like, damn. Just started wowing. Hold up. I don't even know if they got an instrumental for this. I would. Oh, they do. Holy smokes. They got an instrumental for it. Yeah. Let me talk my talk, man. This one for somebody to man. Because, because, oh, man. This is how I feel. This is how I feel before we get into our show and we talk about all that, all, all, all the dumb shit. When a lot of our men went to prison, man, they took a lot of the worries, bro. They took the worries, right? And a lot of degenerates was left. A lot of degenerates was left here, man. And then they started taking the degenerates, too, right? So it's like you had 
a false representation of what a man was. You understand? He the only one. He the free one out here in the free world. It didn't help that they commercialized what we felt was a strong identity. We felt we, that this was a strong identity. Right? They done commercialized. They helped create this whole persona of a gangster and what the gangster would do and his mannerisms. You know, I've, been, I've been around some of the illest the illest cats in New York. I'm talking about going to Rikers with no jury, come out of Rikers with a ton of jury type niggas, right? This is who, this is who I was around, them big cats, right? Every time I looked at them, they was always helping an old lady with her groceries. They was always opening doors. They was always, they, they it wasn't, it wasn't an act. You understand? So they didn't have to act like a, a, a they didn't have to do the commercial. That's who they was. This is who they really. Nah, this is me, bro. But one thing they was doing, they, yo, yo, we gonna respect. You understand? This energy ain't for everybody. This energy is only for those that warrant that type of energy. This energy ain't for old ladies in our community. This energy ain't for young girls trying to go to school and have fun. Come on, man. What we doing, bro? Shit got me tight, bro. I'm going to try not to cry during this episode. What are you doing, bro? Listen, I'm, I'm funny about my karma, you understand? Because you send energy out and it might come back. But I ain't gonna lie, bro. This dude here, you already know what to do inside. You already know. You already know, bro. I don't know where he learned that. I don't know why he felt that was okay. Way to black, I see you, man. I don't know why he felt like that was okay. <sighs> 19, bro. Like I said, this has been going on for a long time in the hood. Yo, yo, what's up, beautiful? First is yo, what's up, beautiful, right? She, she, she don't answer, right? I never really got that part either. I never really, I ain't gonna hold you. I never really got the part where she don't respond. It do seem, but it de- it really depends where you where you from. You understand? Because maybe her mom just said, "Yo, just don't answer these people." Remember, the majority of our, our warriors was in the box. It was in jail. It had that whole. It had so many effects, right? And I didn't even do a show tonight to really go down the effects of that road, but. It's hard not to go down the effects, especially knowing that America brought the drugs in. That's one of the that's one of the the hurtful things. That's one of the hurtful things, right? Because all of these rules and regulations and these perceptions of certain identities, right? And then certain people are get they 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 get to get away with doing the coke, right? Sniffing the blow. There's no real no one's judging them the same as the man who's smoking crack. They both doing the same goddamn drug. One has bacon soda in it. They both doing the same drug. I mean, technically, it's not the same, but technically, you got this, you know, same base. But 
but one is looked at as a class act because he can afford it. One is looking like the scum of the earth. Got a whole nasty nickname too, Crackhead. Oh, God forbid you get this this nickname. Please, B. Dolo, what's up? I'm glad you're in the building. Oh. Mm. This one hurt. This, this, oh. Uh. Because she said no, blood? Because she said no? I hope he's not in the gang. And if he is in the gang, y'all need to handle that. You understand? It's looking bad out here. It's looking bad. Because she said no to his advances. He pulls out a knife. A knife, bro? But this is what I'm saying. Ignorance is such a billion dollar. It's so commercialized, right? It gives off the crazy influence. It makes it. It makes somebody want that attention to keep, to continue being ignorant. People know what they're doing. You understand? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I understand you from a poor family and whatever story he got his his mom. Whatever we we all can relate. We all can relate by that, right? So we about tired of that goddamn story, right? You was in the special ed and nigga, we get it. But that don't give you the right. You know when to act civil, nigga. You know when to act right. You know when to act right. You gonna pull this shit on a, on a female, a young girl? Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Way the black said, okay. Way the black said, watching the footage. He said, I'm wondering why none of them dudes help the female. Because that's where we at, right? A lot of us, this is why I don't particularly like the whole gang shit, right? A lot of these niggas running around, yo, when, I, when you see me, you with 40 niggas, bro. What you expect to happen? Yeah, so you fucked me up. You and 40 niggas fucked me up. Big surprise, bro. That's why you're tough, bro. These niggas is not tough on their own, though. So it's setting a bad precedent. A lot of these dudes is followers. They not leaders, man. They not leaders. And we've had a few, we and I, we in a few generations of at least four to five generations. Of no one teaching the next generation how to be what it even means to be a man, though. You a male. You are a male. You got nuts and a slong. Fine. But to stand on principle, just you ain't you don't, you don't know nothing about nothing. Born ready to go to jail. Born ready to. This one, this one was sad, man. Um, I'm gonna close this story, but let me close this story saying this. It start with you, right? So we can't look at everybody. See, it really start with you. You just now. This is a hard thing because I don't want to get nobody shot. Hand to God. My man passed away in Belize, breaking up a fight. And this dude saved my life in Belize. I was about to drown. And, and my soul was about to be left right there in Belize. I tried to swim to an island where I thought some a barrel was a barrel of cocaine was at. <laughs> this is a true story. This is a true story. Huh? Tried to swim to an island. Well, I thought, so, uh, you know, because the cartels they be dropping the, they be dropping the coke all over the place down there. 
trying to get away. They'll drop decoys, right? So that the, the authority could go get them joints. And then you go off. They go off. Yeah, 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 yeah. Boy, South Dean down in, in, in Mexico and Guatemala and Belize and all that. Door and exploring the joint, man. I'm trying to swim to a whole island to see because I heard it might have been a barrel over there or something like that. What? You know what that joint's going for over there in America? I'm, yo, I'm swimming over there. Like, I'm built like that. First of all, like, I'm built like that. Yo, Saladin, you're wildin', nigga. When's the last time you... No, 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 no. Saladin, watch this nigga. Just let him go. Let him go. Asshole. Let him go. Fucking kuno muno. Go. Go on. Go. Go. Bet you my fucking whole limbs gave out midway. Midway. My dumb ass is sinking to the bottom of the goddamn ocean. Yeah. Yeah, that's me out there trying to put it all on. <laughs> trying to put it all on the line. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> Nigga. A barrel, Frankie Blanco? Yo, I was going to smack. Yo. Frankie. Nigga said a barrel. They didn't say a key, bro. They said a barrel. What? Nigga. Test these swimming arms out. I bet you these, these strawny ass arms gave right the fuck out. I'm fucking sinking to the bottom. The dread came. Oh, my God. Everybody keep asking me that, bro. Let me tell you something. Everybody keep asking me how you was going to get it back. I promise you. I promise you. If I found a barrel, I, the last thing I was going to worry about was how to get it back, bro. Promise you. I'm getting I'm getting this joint back. But everybody kept asking me, yo, yo, how you going to get it back? Yo, just leave me to the barrel, blood. That's it. It's vicious over there. Bunch of stories. <laughs> <laughs> Niggas is crazy over there in Mexico. Yeah, 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 yeah. Your boy Saladin was over there trying to do best business with the Mexicans, man. Listen. Don't just don't fuck around. <laughs> just shit is working out for you in this you know, you understand? There's no pressure to get into some shit that you're not ready for. Let me just tell you that. I'm sinking to the bottom. The dread comes. And he, thank God he was a strong swimmer. And I don't have a picture of him on this, um, on this computer. On my other computer, I'll, I'll I'll pull up a picture of the Dread one day, right? Dread had did um, Dread did like twenty years in the states, cause he was out here wilding in the eighties, in night in the early nineties, early nineties. Him and the whole the whole Belizean crew. Shout out all Belizean artists. You understand? Big up on himself. Belizean pride, big Belizean pride, big Belizean. Yeah, 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 yeah. Belize just had the 126 on Smash. He did, he did, he did. His 18 joints in the States. They deported him. They deported my other man, Phil. Shout out to Phil. They, <laughs> the U.S. ain't fucking around with these Belize. <laughs> Yo, let me tell you something. These niggas talk about getting rid of Haitians too, though. But they're not, they not fucking around with these Belizean niggas. Get them niggas up out of here quick, fast, huh? My other man, uh, L.A. My man, Marvin Flowers. Rest in peace.
So he swims me. He helps me get back to shore. I'm, I know I'm about to die. So I'm thankful to the gods. Thank you. Um, it wasn't that long. It wasn't that long when I got back home that I got the phone call. Um, Donald was one of those guys, stand up guy, the guy, the guy I'm telling you to be, but so I'm, I'm being, that's why I'm bringing this up, right? Because there are consequences to things. So I'm telling you to use your wisdom, but a lot of times if we all together and we all had the same attitude of not in our community, see, when you go to a, I lived in a Italian neighborhood. It was mostly Italian. You had speckles of Irish. There was no, there was like some Spanish guys. And then it was like one other black guy around the corner, right? Um, the guy next door to me, he was straight racist, right? He don't, he, he wouldn't talk to blacks. Only reason he started talking to me is because I kept talking to him and It didn't matter if he wasn't talking to me. Every I, I would always talk to him. My wife said, "Why are you talking to? Him? Why are you talking to him?" Nah, I'm gonna wear him down, right? He wouldn't answer me. One day he was sick, and he couldn't. Like he was sick. Like, Bleh! oh, it was crazy. I'm like, "Yo, you need me to go to the store for you? I go where you need me to go for you?" And he's like, "You would do that for me, bro. You've been the asshole. Why the fuck? <laughs> why the fuck wouldn't I do that for you? You've been the asshole, not me." Now, do you need me to go get something for you? After that, he would talk to me when his daughter's not around. Right? Now, I brung up this neighborhood because there's certain shit you could do in this neighborhood that they're going to let fly. And there's certain shit that the whole neighborhood is not going to let fly. That part. That's the part we're not getting. We like to come together when it's time for the candle lights and the funeral. But if we came together, listen to me, Farrakhan voice. Listen to me, Farrakhan voice. If we came together when it was time to stand up against ignorance that our own people are doing, right? We love to stand up when the when the white cops shoot the black person. That that yo, we will burn a whole fucking city down. When when do, when will we burn a city down? When will we burn down a motherfucker's house? Because he violated somebody else in the village. That part. The real Ming E. Rivers is in the building. Yeah. Frankie Blanco, he, I think he still is the ambassador of police. Hit the like button, though. Hit the like, please, please. I don't know what the like button is looking like. Splashing, what's the like button looking like, bro? Please, they be forgetting to hit the like button. Yeah, they be forgetting to share. Hit the like button. Because nobody will know. We about to have a good show. I just had to. I had to spend some time. On. On the on the ridiculousness. May she rest in peace. Fifteen likes. All right, cool. Okay, okay, nineteen. Okay, okay, okay. Still, she she was a twin, so her sister has to live on. Like it, it just affects everybody, right? At the end of the day, and like Wade said, when nobody, when we all sitting around watching it, I mean, how you feel comfortable doing this? How you feel comfortable doing this? That's kind of crazy. Um, which brings me to something else. Which brings me to something else. Now, I had this video. I thought I had it up. It's crazy. I thought I had the video up, and I, I guess I didn't. Give me a second. This ain't going to take me no time at all to get this up. 
I don't know why my internet. Yo, my internet just went silly. Now. There we go. Loose Cannon. I, I kind of like Loose Cannon, but sure. first, before we get to me kind of liking Loose Cannon, right? Before we get there. I, I want to clear some things up. Or better yet, I want you to clear some things up, Loose Cannon. How is it? Now, I don't know what these, these L.A. boys is doing. I don't know if this is a play. You understand? I don't know if this is a play or what. Now, Loose Can is flipping on. Now, he's rolling 60. Now, he's flipping on Big U. But I don't really care about that, Loose Can. I really don't care about that. The only thing I care about is the fact that you said that Big U knew. You didn't say that he ordered the hit. You didn't say he you, he sent shitty cuz. You didn't say none of that. However, you said that Big U knew about that shitty cuz was on his way over there. Your story don't make sense, Loose Cannon. So I don't know if this is a play, but some people was really paying attention. Right, so I would love to sit down in the room with you, so you, so I could really understand what was what had happened now. So, shitty cuz called Big U, Big U, to tell him he was gonna go over there and murder Nipsey Hussle. Big U called you and told you that shitty cuz was on his way over there to murder Nipsey Hussle. You said you called Nipsey Hussle. That's what you said. But when he was still alive, you f you said, right? This is the part that don't make sense. And then my thing is, well, what? Damn, what's the point in joining a gang if that's how your gang members going to treat you? Right? You bragging that, like, I be seeing posts where you, you know, you it look like you trying to big them up. But let's talk about this, bro. And I'm going to play some of this because academics, you was out of pocket for wanting to know how Loose Cannon is hanging. Academics, you was like a groupie. But before we get to you being a groupie, you say you called Dipsy Hustle. He picked up the phone so you didn't feel like it was a, a big situation going on. You know what I'm saying? So you just let it slide. Bro, what type of excuse is that? You heard that somebody was on their way to go kill your mans. And when he picked up, you just felt like it wasn't a big deal. And then an hour later, he couldn't pick up. I don't understand. Maybe you shouldn't tell that story no more, Loose Cannon. Now, I don't know what's going on with you LA niggas. Actually, I don't know what's going on with a lot of you niggas on the internet. I was watching China's show last night. God damn. <laughs> <laughs> you niggas is begging for indictments. Was I the only one watching last night saying, yo, these niggas is crazy? Am I the only one? These niggas is begging for indict. Yo, they think they don't think the feds are real. Do you niggas think the feds is like fairy tales? I was listening. I was tapped in. I did not hit the like button. I did not do anything. I'm just staring at the screen, right? Because. Too much information. You don't got to get up on the internet. Yo, splashing. It's crazy, bro. Yo, respectfully. 
the Rico is crazy. They don't believe no matter how many times they go around and scrape up 78, 34 people. Ages be ages be nuts. Ages be 14 to 67. It'd be stupid. Whoever's name, yo, come on. You coming on in too. And I'm listening last night. Yo, niggas is up there shouting out other niggas' governments. This be the part where I, I'm just, I said, I can't, I'm just slow. I'm just slow, right? Yo, my man, now nah, my man, Taekwon Miller, you understand? He was the actual one that called the hit. <laughs> I said, what the fuck? <laughs> what is going on? Listen, I'm going to say this and I'm going to continue on with my show, right? I don't want y'all, anybody to feel like the likes is worth it, right? Or the views is worth it. This is false self-worth, right? Because you feel like, yo, yo, you see how many niggas was tapped in? You see how many people I got in two hours? Yo, I'm telling you, they're setting you. That's all I can say. I won't say no more. Now. When we talk about setting people up, watch this nigga academics. I promise you, watch this nigga academics is trying to get uh, loose cannon locked up. I'm restricted. That means it's either your um, probation officer, parole officer, or somebody that you don't need to talk to. And that's like the police. So it's like they never will call from... A direct number. You get what I'm saying? They yeah. always call from um, uh, restricted and blocked. Black numbers. So, no, nah, I don't even play those games. I, I, I thought, like, pretty okay, much the whole. So like that, okay, I'm going to bring it back. Where we at? 213? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to bring it back. Just to give this some context. Because what happened was academics was trying to get an answer now what happened was loose cannon was actually smart right here i remember this part loose cannon was smart right here academics asked him some incriminating shit and loose cannon went off about nothing at all let's go back so when you say that or whatever like what you supposed to do Hold up. I don't know, yo. This this should be having me. This internet tweaking like this is crazy because it wasn't doing this earlier. So you have to stay tuned. Wait, so wait, is, 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 that, is that that's part of the call, the infamous call? Yeah. And I just I just wanted to let niggas know that's a part of it. So y'all going to keep rewinding that shit back. I got this stamp. He tried to, he's, he. Now, I figured out, I I thought something was wrong. Like, I was like, yo, why? Loose Cannon seemed like he kind of slow. He got shot a bunch of times and he was paralyzed. So that's what happened. He, you know what I'm saying? So if Loose Cannon seemed like he a little bit slower when he be sitting there, that's, he, he had to go through therapy to get his, 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 uh, his, his mojo back. He's put out a cease and desist, I mean, a cease and desist to stop us from putting it in the show. So I, we set our attorneys back on them, and if they don't come out with it or whatever, I'm going to drop the whole thing. And even if they do try to sue, I'm going to just drop it on. You just going to leak that bitch. I'm going to just leak that bitch. So regardless of the fact it's coming out, sweetheart. Wait, so so, so help me understand. You're, you're not alleging that. Um, Big U made a call to get Nipsey killed. No, he never did that. I'm saying okay, that explain. Big U knew he was going to get killed. I mean, we all did. So at the end of the whoa, day... Whoa. Okay, okay. So what are we talking about? This is crazy. Do I need to play that back? Do 
Do I need to play that back? He tried to fix it. He said, Big U knew he was going to kill, get killed. We all did. That's 1651. I'm going to just bring it back to right here. understand you're you're not alleging that um big you made a call to get nipsey killed no he never did that i'm saying okay, that explain. big you knew he was gonna get killed i mean we all did so at the end of the whoa, day it, whoa, 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 it was either on. what do you mean we all did yeah no so it was either you know it's, it's hood politics so it's either nipsey had to kill cuz or um, cause they what he did to Nipsey. So it was. How person. long did everybody knew that? I thought it just happened like really sporadically in the moment. No, so they got into it. They was beefing, and when they was beefing, or whatever, um, we knew that the shitty is a is a goer. Cause gonna go and, and get his man because you can't. Ain't not basically Nipsey put a, a hit out on um shitty by saying like he's a snitch. So when you say that or whatever, like, what you supposed to do is either you ain't going to deal with it because you can't go back to the hood. You can't come back back and fuck with the homies and stuff. You have to make an example. And the nigga that, I get that. calling him a snitch, he made him an example. That's just the rules of the street. That's We're not point. mad at Shitty for doing it, but that we point. mad at Shitty for taking away a nigga that was representing the hood the way he was doing it. Like, that part is true. But in streets, um rules that's just how it is that's okay. really you know i've always wondered and, and i've heard certain people kind of give that perspective saying hey listen the way how like just remove the celebrityism and the fan like the fan loving a certain person for whatever reason if someone is referred to as a snitch or if that's how it's going down what uh, shitty did right and he's the guy eric holder what he did was pretty much how a street dude would handle it. Is that of course really? Yeah, and and it's not like nobody knew, but Big U knew. It's just like she stayed in Long Beach, right? So he stayed in Long Beach. On the way there, I'm just saying because this is how it was brought to me. Driving there, you he called Big U like I'm about to go kill this bitch ass nigga. Blah 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 blah. Big U hit me. You get what I'm saying? Because so could y'all have stopped it? Yeah, we could have stopped it, but when I called Nipsey, stop! <laughs> what the fuck are we talking about? <laughs> that that was an excellent question, academic, and loose cannon answers, and said we could have stopped it. So then, why, my nigga? Why are we doing all the RP, my nigga? Rest in peace, yo. Seems like yesterday. Why are we even doing these type of posts, bro? Inspection, that's crazy, bro. Hold up, I got del I got a view to delete it. Flash and shout him down. Oh, Jesus Christ. They coming for you, Spection. <laughs> Why go on, brethren? <laughs> Jesus. Ricky Shooter came in here shooting. Yikes. Let me bring that back. That 1901. Let's bring that back. Nobody knew, but Big U knew. It's just like... She stayed in Long Beach, right? So he stayed in Long Beach. On the way there, I'm just saying, because this is how it was brought to me. Driving there, you he called Big U, like, I'm about to go kill this bitch ass nigga, blah, 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 blah. Big U hit me. You get what I'm saying? Because so could y'all have stopped it? Yeah, we could have stopped it. But when I called Nipsey, Nipsey picked up. So I'm thinking... Oh, Big U just on, like, some female gossip and shit. But then when it really happened, I'm like, oh, damn. Cuz was spot on. Like, oh, damn. Cuz Did, did any on. of this, because I think. What, nigga? <laughs> Yo, 
bro, this is not a game. Niggas is niggas is different on this earth, bro. And they will say they your man's. You understand? Now how black Sam supposed to feel about some shit like that? Huh? There's anybody in here who has a brother or that they love or a nephew or cousin, a best friend, going to hear some shit like that. Yo, yo, nigga on his way over there to shoot, shoot such and such. You call them, then they answer the phone. You don't even be like, yo, nigga, I heard nigga on his way over there. You know what I'm saying? You got your shit on you? Nothing. It's just like random conversation. And then you like, oh, well, damn, shit really went down. I heard, Wax Dog. I heard. Wax Dog said, that's Jail 101. You know what's funny? You're not the first person to tell me that, Wax Dog. I was talking to... I was talking to the guard, K. Bourne. Shout out to the guard, K. Bourne. Me and... Me and K-Born was talking yesterday about this situation. And that's exactly what he said. I mean, not to mention he's doing a lot of talking. You know what I'm saying? Yo, he called. Isn't that some type of implication? Right? He called shitty cuz. Oh, they gonna make examples, splashing. You know, for a lot of people who even heard that, like we were saying, damn, did any of this come up during the police investigation? Because I'm pretty sure they checked his call logs. Look I'm pretty sure boy. they checked Nipsey's call logs at before in trying to figure out the motive and figuring out everything that happened. Did the police ever be like, "Yo, why the hell you called Nipsey like 13 minutes before his death or whatever the case is"? No, I called um, Nipsey. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. Did they ever ask you, like, why'd you call him? No, because, shit, I'm not about to deal with it. I'm not even going to pick up a private call. I ain't going to pick up. <laughs> Hold up, y'all. Hold up, y'all. I want y'all to pay attention to this, right? Because Loose Cannon, we all know a nigga like Loose Cannon in the hood, right? He's a loose fucking can. He's just out there, right? But. These niggas are so good. I got a friend just like Loose Cannon, right? When he don't feel like answering a question, he do the same shit Loose Cannon is about to do. So I want to explain to you what's going on. Academic said, did the police ever look into this and ask you, why did you call Nipsey 13 minutes before he got shot? Right? Loose Cannon starts to give the most intelligent, nonsensical rebuttal I've ever heard in all my years on this earth and ends it as if he is Denzel Washington and the great debaters, right? It's all, it mean, he gave 90 seconds of absolute nothingness. Had nothing to do with the question. I'm going to bring it back a couple of seconds. Now, watch when he say, yo, so when the police say, no, no, no police looked into this. And then watch shitty cousins. I'm not shitty. I keep calling him shitty cuz. Watch um, Loose Cannon's answer. Nipsey picked up. So I'm thinking, oh, Big U just on like some female gossip and shit. But then when it really happened, I'm like, oh, damn. Cuz was spot on. Like, cuz knew. It, did any of this, because I think, you know, for a lot of people who even heard that, like, we were saying, damn, did any of this come up during the police investigation? Because I'm pretty sure they checked his call logs. I'm pretty sure they checked Nipsey's call logs before in trying to figure out the motive and figuring out everything that happened. The did the police ever be and like, yo, why the hell you call Nipsey, like, 13 minutes before his death or whatever the case is. No, I called um, Nipsey. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. Did they ever ask you, like, why'd you call him? No, because, shit, I'm not about to deal with it. I'm not even going to pick up a private call. I ain't going to pick up. Because when it's private or it's um, 
unrestricted, that means it's either your um, probation officer, parole officer, or somebody that you don't need to talk to, and that's like the police. So it's like they never will call from a direct number. You get what I'm saying? They yeah. always call from um, restricted and block numbers. So, no, nah, I don't even play those games. I, I, I thought, like, pretty much the whole, like, six, I, Yo, but your man ends it with, I don't even play those games. <laughs> Yo, what are you talking about, bro? <laughs> you don't play what? That wasn't part of the question, loose cannon. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't even play those games. But apparently you do play these games. I might get this individual wrong. I thought everybody was in, like, because I've always said about, like, with gang culture, I feel like you'd be like, yo, no snitching. Until be like, damn, you killed, you, you killed my man? Let's snitch. Like, like for example, um, the guy cowboy, right? Like he's a rapist. Oh shit! <laughs> no. <laughs> Yo, loose cannon is out here wilding, son. <laughs> Yo, why this nigga call? Why this nigga call cowboy? <laughs> Damn, bro. Look at act. <laughs> Damn. Cow yeah, cowboy is. A, yeah, but, but, but he he's cooperated. A yeah, but he's a registered sex offender. But is he? Yeah. Yeah, you go uh, um, Google it. He's a registered. Like he's on the list. Yeah, he have to register. I'm. Mean, we talking about high risk. <laughs> 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 Yo, cowboy. This is bad, nigga. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what these LA niggas got going on. You understand? I thought it was a play. I ain't gonna <laughs> I ain't gonna hold you. I thought this shit was a play, bro. <laughs> this nigga loose cannons out here spraying up the block. He gives two shits. He's going after Big U. He's going after Cowboy. Huh? He let his man pass away, his so-called man. That wouldn't be okay with me. Just letting you know. Hit the like button. That would not be okay with me. It's not okay with me right now. I don't know exactly what's going on, but if it's not being articulated right, then maybe you shouldn't be talking about it, though, bro. Because it sounds like you called him right before he died, but you ain't. No warning was put out there. Let me tell you something. They said that Shitty Cuz was a goer. You understand? We all know what that means. My nigga. If a goer pop up where I'm at, and I've been running around calling this nigga. I don't no, maybe maybe it could have been on Nipsey too for having too much confidence in himself. You understand? Sometimes it, you can feel too confident. I know a lot of people. I don't know a lot of people, but I know a few people who have passed away by somebody that they generally could beat in a fist fight. Right? Generally, this person wouldn't stand up for themselves. But they got tired of, you understand? And they just. So it's like, <laughs> they have to, you have to stay away from the kids, kiddo. God, but, but, but he did cooperate. Um, damn, yo, I'm, I'm, it's kind of sad to even think that maybe Nipsey's life culminated with him being a part of just street politics. How do you think he could have avoided that then? Because he's a known rapper. He was doing his thing. He was very prosperous. He was living well. We, we know that it's like how you said it. You have to be one way or the other. You When you say when a rap nigga is rapping, that street life have to go. You get what I'm saying? He didn't let it go. So it was. 
And this is a, this is a not that I think that there's a ton of life left for you poets, right? For for us poets, right? I'm not gonna act like I don't rap, right? Am I trying to drop a mixtape? I'm not trying to drop an album. And if I wanted to drop an album, I would just drop it. That's how I, I've always done it, right? Because I'm one of those people that believe art is... Art, like, it doesn't matter if I become 70 years old and want to drop a rap album, right? I'm doing it not to blow. I'm doing it because this is the energy that was in me, and I'm trying to get the energy out onto paper, onto um, the airwaves so that people could hear my expression right that's music that's music that's what music is supposed to be um they right we know who they are it's too early in the show for me to start getting into that they have commercialized it because they can make and it's our energy so let's just stay right there it's our energy they commercialized it and said, oh, you guys, you guys got something going on here, right? Then they started to, they once it was so much money coming in off of this thing, you had other interested parties, right? You had the government, you had research, you had analysts. So that being said, now they could test out other things. What if you got them to do this with the energy? How would it work out? I don't know. Let's see. But everything is for a price. You understand? Everything is for a price. Let's see what would happen if we were to tune the, the frequency, the vibration to another frequency. And obviously, we've seen how that worked out and it's still working out to this day. I know a bunch of people don't believe yo it's not the music it's not only the music let's put it like that it's not only the music all right we are hour in and splashing wants me to remind y'all of beyond you I didn't pull it up I don't know why I'm I'm tripping right beyond you TV Will all your wildest dreams come true? Now, I did add the Warriors. Um, the Cosby Show. Um, we got a lot of stuff over there. We got a whole bunch of stuff over there. Um, pretty much anything new. It's over there. So shout out, shout out everywhere. Canada is really rocking with us. Mexico been rocking with us for a while. I'm not gonna hold you, but Mexico has been in the lead for for the past couple of weeks. The United States, the United States just took off. You understand? Y'all y'all really been supporting us, but um, Mexico. And Canada, I was surprised to see Canada rocking with us heavy. Brazil. Peace to the gods, original man, original man in the building. I'm not going to lie, though. Y'all still kind of freaky down there below the border. Y'all still kind of <laughs> The more freaky shit that Splashing puts up, the freakier these below the border, y'all be into that shit, bro. And it don't be like porn. So I'm 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 like, damn, this is not even porn. We put up shit like sensual massages and fucking South America goes nuts every time. It be the simple shit for them. Huh? It's the <laughs> As long as y'all stop watching sex with the handicapped. That was a big hit for fucking months. It's like, <laughs> God damn. Only down there, though. As if y'all had no, you would have thought these niggas had no other channels down there, bro. 
they was fucking with the sex with the handicap. I said, God damn, these niggas is freaks down here. <laughs> oh, man. Anyway, we don't prefer you go to the browser, but can you watch it in a browser? You can. It's www.beyondyou.tv. That's what it is, if you want to know. It's www.beyondyou.tv. Right? So, we just... It, it is a Roku channel. It's a Roku channel. All right. That being said... Um... Loose. All right, so I want to wrap up the whole shit with um academics because I'm not gonna watch the whole thing. I'm not gonna rewatch the whole thing with you guys. It was a good interview. <clears throat> I just can't figure out if this is a play or not because Loose Cannon is going crazy on Big U, right? He's calling them all type of sweetheart, and he's like, "Yo, I'm the nigga that I used to go after." He's he's telling it all. He said he in, in this interview. He's talking about he kidnapped Meek Mill. He's saying all of this shit on the fucking tape. He kidnapped Meek Mill. <clears throat> he had DJ Khaled hemmed up. It's a lot he talks about in this interview. It was a good interview. Not going to hold you. But they've been making their rounds because they're coming out with a new show. And that's the only thing I can give these West Coast dudes. You know, that's not the only thing, but... You know, I could give them that because if whether it's a play or not, they're going to they're going to come together. Even if it seems like they be not together, they're going to come together to make some shit. They're going to make a dollar out of it. What I'm not respecting over here. On the East Coast is all these dudes get up here on the Internet and they talk shit about each other. And they talk about each other's kids. And they dropping addies. They do all of this shit. Yo, yeah, this one could suck this, this, that, this, that. And you put a boxing event together so these niggas could get that out the way. And won't need These niggas was just quiet as a motherfucking church mouse. And then they had the nerve to act like Saladin was the, picked on them or some shit like that. Right? So I'm looking niggas weirdos. Like they niggas is weirdos, right? I don't even give a fuck no more. Like I'm just once niggas show me that, I'm good, bro. I'm I'm pretty much good at that point. Cause now I know. I'm like, oh, this shit is rocky out here. You you show me who you we we good, cuz. We good. We good. You got it. This shit is a joke. To y'all. Right? And that's some buffoonery nigga shit. Right? But I always said, somebody going to do it. Somebody's going to take the offer. It's always going to be somebody. So if the first person has, they like, nah, I don't, I don't do that. The next nigga that's, and within the next three, somebody going to be like, hell yeah, I'll fucking coon around this bitch. What you need me to do? It's all entertainment. And, which is the equivalent to, I can see these same niggas wearing dresses. You understand? Niggas start talking that it's, oh, it's, it's all entertainment. These niggas is wearing a dress. Right? If they would do this for fucking free. If they do this for free, my nigga. Get up here and just fucking do the most for fucking peanuts. Tell these niggas to show you a, a, their YouTube check on the 21st. I want to see $2,000 from near any one of these niggas. 2000 Show me $2,000. They can't do it. They not showing me no fucking $2,000. That means these niggas is pimping you out. So what you doing it for? You must be doing it. You might be doing it for because it give you, you know, it's a bullshit Value, right? Niggas know your name. And that's why 
I'm okay. Yo, I, you can sit me over here with 12 motherfucking people, and I'm going to be okay because I'm not going <sighs> to give you my soul for some fucking hand claps. Venezuela's up here spreading rumors. Let's get to it. <clears throat> let's get let's get to it. For glory's sakes. <laughs> For glory's sakes. Sub. Venezuela says, why sub zero taking shots at 10 toes? No. No. I didn't see him taking shots at 10 toes. He know both of them. Before we get to Sub-Zero, let's go to Uncasa, man. Before we get to Sub-Zero. Let's hear Uncasa out first. Right? Because these two are going at it now. Anyway, like I said, I just want to apologize to the Lux family and, um, Because this is weird, man. These, these. Hold up. I hate when. Come on, man. This internet shit is bananas. Phones, these. Fuck, bro. Thank you. It's these microphones, this camera, like people. Gets, it get weird and it get weird and this out you know it's weird the word weird bro i hate the word weird now the word weird is weird to me right the way these people everyone is keep using weird do you niggas have any idea what weird means <laughs> everybody always talk about somebody's a weirdo A lot of times it's fucking weirdos calling other niggas weirdos. It's disgusting. Yo, way overused, bro. Yo, I'm not no rough, tough nigga, none of that. I just didn't come from an era. You know, I was outside with, you know, niggas drinking 40s with, and, and, the 40 belows and the army coats, army jackets, right? Still got still got the boom box outside, right? That is where I'm from, the golden era, right? So you wouldn't have got caught near nigga one of us talking some niggas is weird shit. That's not how we was doing it back then. If a nigga was acting like how y'all say weird today, that shit would have been brought up right there. <laughs> that shit was being brought up, bro. Niggas outside with orange box cutters and their dick beaters. Niggas had blackjacks. Niggas had all type of shit, right? That shit is getting brought up right there, bro. Niggas ain't talking about, yo, niggas is acting weird. What? That would have been weird and you would have got fucked up for that. <laughs> Yo, you would have been an outcast just for using that dumbass word. Yo, niggas is weird, bro. What? My nigga. I guarantee you somebody's going to start picking on you just to, you know how it go. You ain't even know you had a problem with this nigga. You didn't have a problem with this nigga. You decided to use a silly ass, gay ass word like weird around the wolves. And niggas smelt food. Soon as you start talking that weird bro shit, niggas smell. That's what the era I'm from, bro. You couldn't have been running around talking that weird shit. What? Weird. This nigga's punching. <laughs> yeah. All right. All right. You gotta stop. The, you gotta over stop overusing these words, man. Just say what's on your chest, little nigga. 
Venezuela said, we are all waiting for the Gully TV and his mom basement video. Oh, it's coming, Venezuela. It's coming. We're going to play Sub-Zero getting that, um, <laughs> we're going to play Sub-Zero getting that Gully. But let's slow it way down and let's give Uncasa some context. Now, I don't know why Uncasa and Harlem Legend look like fucking twins. This shit is scary. Scary. I've been in the streets all my life. That's that's a weird space for me to internet. If and they kind of got the same voice too. If I ain't rap, if I ain't sell clothes, if I ain't act, I wouldn't even f with the internet because it's just nasty energy. Like like people that monetized off their pages by doing commentary on what was going on with me and so. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Come, come on, Uncasa. Don't, don't act like a victim, bro. Damn, Uncasa. Yeah, I didn't even watch this video. I wanted to watch it while I did the reaction. Is it me or is Uncasa acting like he's a victim right now when he's saying this? Niggas is monetizing. Don't try to fucking backpedal out of this shit. Did you call him a bozo or not, nigga? You got to watch your fucking mouth, young man. You can't be running around calling niggas bozos. <laughs> ah, listen. Let me, let me give you some advice, man. Anybody that's out here overly using the word weird definitely should not be calling any type of Street nigga, jail nigga, nigga that's giving up that energy, a bozo, bro. That's just, I'm just telling you the facts. If weird is all in your vocabulary, you not the nigga. I'm telling you, bro. You're not the guy to be running around calling jail niggas bozos. <laughs> On the internet. It's just, hit the like button, please. I ain't gonna lie, them shit's just thick as fuck. I'm not gonna lie. I didn't come up here to clown on Casa. Next thing you know, he's calling me a bozo. Shit is, you know what I'm saying? That's how it go. That's how it go. They want the nigga that, they'll put it on Saladin, right? Oh, Saladin, I don't know what you was laughing at, you bitch ass nigga. I'll fuck you up for sure. Like, sub, I, I don't know, but you, I will fuck you up. That's how I be going. We seen this a thousand times too in the park, right? We seen this a thousand times too. So I don't want to give a nigga out right now. And next thing you know, all the attention's on Saladin for doing the video. Like he's trying to do right now. He's like, oh, shit is weird. Niggas is capitalizing. My nigga, knock it off. Ain't nobody really getting. You understand? We talking about something that happened. This shit wasn't even between you and subs in the beginning. Right? Sub, from what I hear. He got, he understood the information wrong. Cause I wanted to know why he ran down the block too. I'm like, yo, what the fuck is up with sub, bro? Why, why you would say like, first of all, I thought sub was listening to bullets. Gotti, Cause bullets. Gotti was the first person that I heard break the news. And it, apparently bullets. Gotti was listening to sub sub being the, 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 the man of, of, uh, the man that he is, we don't know him to be no flighty type of off the rails type of guy when it comes to information. And he said he knew real niggas. He's like, yo, I know real gangsters out in DC, man. <laughs> yeah, I know how I'm giving up. Huh? I know real gangsters out in DC, man. The gangsters called me, man. Hey, Rose. Hey, Rose, the gangsters called me. So we took that as, all right, it's, it, it's true. From I don't know, it's going to be cleared up, but from what I hear, Loaded Lux's father's name 
They call him. They call him Lux, right? They call Loaded Lux's father Lux, and they call Loaded Lux something else in Harlem, right? I know what they call him, but I'm not going to repeat it. They call him something else in Harlem. So from what my understanding, as it was explained to me, it was Loaded Lux's brother who may have passed away. But again, this time, you know, people have passed away. You know, this is these are real people. So I don't want to just get up here and try to this this be the problem with people trying to break a story so fast. It'd be a bunch of stuff that I hear about right away and I don't break it. Right? I started getting less phone calls because people used to call me right away when shit happened. Yo, 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 I'm just letting you know right now before anybody talk about it, this is what happened. I don't talk about it. I don't have enough facts because I might get up there and do some shit like this and now my credibility is shot out the window. Santiago. Santiago's in the building. I ain't gonna hold you, bro. Only you could prevent forest fires. <laughs> I ain't gonna hold you, Unkasa. God damn, bro. You know they got laser vision, right? Nah, my nigga, you got to. My nigga. He said he got he said he got sixty, seventy thousand. My nigga, laser vision is like $2,000, bro. $2,500, my nigga. You got to get on top of that. ASAP. Never mind the teeth. He said the teeth, the, 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 he said he want, he want the, um, the, the work he want costs like 70 racks. And he said he got it, but he's being responsible. You know, because his mom's, he's paying people's bills. I get that. So never mind a 80,000 dental job, right? Nigga, doctor, what's his name? Uh, y- y- your man in Jersey with his son? Father and son, they got the 2,500, blood. 2,500. Everybody's giving their opinions. Everybody's making their pages jump. And it's because off of something that we're supposed to be grieving and paying respects to, but people are monetizing off of it. And- See, I told you, man. That's why Saladin wanted to, this exactly what I said he was going to do. He's pushing it off to other niggas. He's one of those niggas. Son. Nobody called you called Sub Zero a bozo. Never mind. <laughs> You're hanging around with fucking Gully, right? I already told you, blood. I got calls from this nigga's town. Niggas want me to come interview the men that they said slept with motherfucking Gully. I would not do it because that's not the type of YouTube channel I want. I don't want that shit, bro. I don't want, I don't want to ruin. I don't, yo, bro. I don't even want it to be true. You understand? I don't, I just don't want it. So anybody else could go, you go get the story. I don't want to do that story. I don't want it like that. Please. The problem is, I do think the story is going to be real. That's the problem right there. I'm going to get out there and it's going to be these guys that's probably telling me this, that, and the third. I don't want to get, tell it to somebody else, please. Whoever's willing to do the story, whatever was going on with Gully, right? The problem is you was out here riding with a, a uh, you know, first of all, shout out to Philly and all that, right? But any, I, nigga, any town. Right? When Zip did this to Bimmy, I wasn't feeling it. 
Nigga, Queen's supposed to stick together. What the fuck is you doing out here dissing niggas from your hood? On on national internet, on global internet, you out here making Queen's look bad. Now, here you go, Uncasa. Out here making Harlem world look bad, nigga. Fucking with a Philly nigga. No, 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 no. Philly niggas don't don't accept this nigga. We have to say it right. Fucking with a Pennsylvania nigga. Right? A random Pennsylvania nigga. This nigga's from wherever he's from. He's not from Philadelphia, I promise you. For a random Philadelphia nigga, you flipped on a, a Harlem night? And you call him a bozo? Splashing, splashing crazy. <laughs> that was nasty work. Mm? Uncasa, never mind all of this. Yo, niggas is making money off the, the demise. Nigga, you trying to kick knowledge? Fuck out of here. Would you? <laughs> you trying to kick knowledge? <laughs> niggas trying to kick knowledge. Niggas ain't trying to hear that, Lord. Did you or did you not side with a random Pennsylvania nigga and shit it on a Harlem night? That's the conversation, right? Because nobody's making money. Uh Uh-oh, nigga says Sonnet is involved? (laughs) Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, Explain, please explain, Frankie Blanco. I didn't hear that. I didn't hear that. Let him finish. And making money off of it as a joke. And it's not a joke. Somebody actually lost their life, but it wasn't Loaded Lux. It was actually his brother. And for people to be monetizing and making films on it, it's cool because I I know what the entity, but it's it's, it's just a bad look for everybody because we taking something so likely when we supposed to be actually trying to. This thing is talking that Sharif shit. Man, we supposed to be brothers. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, cut this shit, Uncasa. Hold up, hold up. This nigga's crazy. This nigga's crazy. <laughs> Niggas say I'm black on my bullshit, yeah, they pound me right. I don't give a fuck about nothing, I take somebody like Come through your block in the rape, that shit is Molly White. Inside, Colleen Purple, just like somebody's right. Kalinsky, I'm the raw you've been looking for. Whole brick and cane when you cook it all. No water, add ammonia, bro. Where's this nigga? Where's this nigga, man? Never. <laughs> I don't want the fucking Sharif from Minister Society ass nigga. <laughs> Where's this little nigga? <laughs> Man, we supposed to be brothers. <laughs> this nigga's crazy. Pete, no soda. I sell Yola, this whole building of foul odor. Little niggas let them hype y'all up. I go to heaven, smack the devil just to light my blood. Make a meal, give a take. Yo, this nigga tried to give him some compliments. And almost ripped his shoulder off. This nigga's like Shrek on the side. <laughs> Where's all of that devil talk, nigga? Huh? Let's not get it misconstrued. No one is making fun or light of the fact that Loaded Lux's brother got shot and passed away. May he rest in peace. Oh, yeah, we about to turn on Sub in a second. Sub is on your heels, nigga, for talking that, <laughs> talking that spicy dips and shit you was talking. 
talking about spicy dip set shit. Let's go. Let's hear some. Let's go, nigga. A ring. Let that shit a ring. In the light six months, then ride around on summer in the ice cream truck. Oh, and my youngest let that thunder clap. I scream, oh, oh, oh. Niggas okay. come running like the thundercats. Oh, so on the block where you niggas don't want to trap. I get in the sight and make a nigga don't want to rap. Right. Okay. <laughs> And he got on here talking about internet niggas. Shit is crazy. <laughs> Shit is crazy on earth. <laughs> Let me finish listening to you kick that knowledge, son. What you were saying, though? Go ahead, finish. Keep our brother loaded Lux up right now because he's going through something. Instead of that, we're doing this back and forth. It's corny. It's whack. It's not gangster. Going back. I always respect this sub. I don't even know how I got. <laughs> Yo, splashing, man. What is we doing, splashing? Huh? Venezuela. Did this man call? Did this man call Sub Zero a bozo or not? Now this nigga. I told you who he was, bro. And this ain't new to none of us in the room. We all from the same place. I don't give a fuck if you from Watts. Uh. Fifth Ward, uh, Little Haiti, Brooklyn, Mount Vernon. It's all the same shit, bro. Bankhead. It's all the same shit. I knew he was going to do I never even watched this video. I knew he was going to do the shit he's doing right now. I told you who he was. He's going to spin it off on the quiet nigga that's kind of like giggling in the park he just gonna set it on he's just gonna y'all don't know what the fuck you laughing at because i'll fuck you up like this you know what i'm saying like yo, 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 yo this nigga you know he's he a little bit bigger but i will fuck you up for real all of a sudden all the energies on him like yo bro that's not where your energy is i don't know <laughs> why you trying to tap dance out of this shit but stay focused stay focused so he came up here, he started clapping at niggas on the internet. Yo, niggas is doing videos, you know what I'm saying? And it's supposed to be a serious time. Niggas been doing videos, Lord. This the only time I ever seen you come up here <laughs> and, 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 and fight for niggas not doing videos during a serious time. We've never seen you come up here and say, yo, niggas is, you know what I'm saying? Niggas doing videos and shit, and I always respected Sub. Question, Unkasa, did you respect Sub when you called this nigga a bozo? Huh? <laughs> Yo, Ming said, what happened to the boom in the flash? Nigga said he always respected who? What? Hold up, let me hear that again. This nigga's trying to really kick knowledge, blood. Up right now, cause he's going through something. Instead of that, we doing this back and forth. It's corny. It's whack. This not gangster. Going back. I always respect this sub. I don't even know how I got into this space, but <laughs> it is what it is. Oh, and good sir. Good sir. I could tell you how you got into this space. You let your fucking mouth do a bunch of that. <laughs> Nigga said, I don't even know how we got into this space. Niggas ain't trying to hear that shit, Lord. <laughs> Nigga said, I don't know how I got into this space. Me neither, nigga. Sub Zero Podcast. No, thank you, Two Gun Un. Oh, uh, Gully TV. You said, um,. Put Gully TV in the um in the thing so you can get some views. I said, well, thank you for the advice. I use that. So Sub Zero addresses Gully TV and Uncasa. Thank you, Gully TV. I sure will. Mm -hmm. Somebody please tell Uncasa this is my sixth site or uh, uh, YouTube page. My other YouTube page, you just got 500 more people than me. Got about 12,007 over there. Uh, 
they turned off the comments and demonetized it. I'm battling against satanic Jews and hating niggas. And this is why I fuck with some. You see what I'm saying? This is why I fuck with some. Because there's some that will say they are Jews and they are not. Get that clear. You understand? He understands. Do he go a little bit further than I would go? No, he goes way further than Saladin would go. Yeah? Look, 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 look. Sub is out here with it. Sub is, Sub is out here with it. And that's when, that's when they, you know how YouTube takes all these random images of you and shit like that? <laughs> it's like Google Earth. Every once in a while you Google your own house and you be like, oh shit. I ain't seen that person. You see somebody that passed away and shit. <laughs> sub is... When you Google Sub and look at the images, he's out here hailing Hitler. So look, y'all think I'm bullshit? I'm going to show you right now. Just in case you think I'm bullshit. Look, I'll show you live. I'm going to put in Sub... Zero podcast. No, don't bring in Rose. Don't bring in Rosie into this. Don't bring in Rose into this. Now I'm going to hit images. I'm going to hit images. Look. <laughs> Look. They got your boy hailing Hitler. Right? So they be on hit. They be on sub zeros ass. Yeah. <laughs> They be on his ass. They have two pictures of Sub-Zero. One of him looking like a goon and the other one of him hailing Hitler. Yeah, they they on his ass. So uh, I do talk. I talk spicy about the the fake Jews. You understand the satanic, the, the satanic Jews, you know, because the Bible speaks about uh, the synagogue of Satan and those who say they were all Jews and they are not. The Bible speaks about that. They're hiding in Judaism. But Sub takes it to a whole nother fucking level out here. But let's finish it. Let's hear what he got to say. Because he ain't. It's not that he lying. It's just that I don't be wanting to smoke. And Sub wants all the smoke, nigga. Now, Unkasa, you got to ask yourself. <clears throat> did I really want smoke? With a nigga who wanted smoke with the, all the Jews. This nigga wants smoke with all the Jews, bro. Hmm? I don't know what, I don't know why you did that, Unkasa. But we, we gonna figure it out. We gonna figure it out. Now that we established that you're all homos, you said you went to Miami. I, I played the dude in the bed with another guy. Come on, talk. If you Google a guy, mm -hmm. there's eight or nine videos with different shit. Gully TV is a homosexual. This is the tattoos on the necks. I told you, man, these kind of guys who do this, is they go extra hard to be a man. The tattoos on the neck, all the bull nose ring. Gully TV is a whore. He didn't even really want to address none of that shit. And then people hit him in the timeline. He said, him and his homie don't sleep in uh, plane stations. So they rented a hotel. Him and his homie got naked and got in the bed together. <laughs> He's filming himself getting out of bed. Yikes. And there's a grown man Yikes. under the covers naked with him. Gully, I, I, again, bro, I could have, I've gotten a call. I don't do it. I don't do it for my own reasons, right? I don't do it for, for my own reasons. I don't know your moms, right? But I got a respect for your moms, right? Don't ask me why. It's probably because I heard you don't have the respect that you should have for your moms. That, that's probably why, right? I've, I've, I've. I've gotten calls how, you know, the people down there just wish you had more respect for your moms and you just put her in jeopardy. And 
a lot of times I don't do stuff for not it don't be for the reason y'all think I I wouldn't do it. We rebuilding We TV in the house in the building. Shout out Mount Vernon, New York. Shout out G Mac nine one four. Shout out Whip Wop. Yeah, but they call me down there. Yo, come interview. Nah, 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 nah. I don't want to even hear what this dude got to say. You're not going to give me the tea. But I guess what? You could give it to, um, you know who might take it? But she might be cool. For glory. <laughs> yo, yo, wax. For glory's sake. Oh, God. For God forbid. For glory's sake. I don't know. She might be cool with, with, with Gully. You understand? I don't even want to say her name because, you know, you know how this internet thing be. Next thing you know, they think she got beef. I'll ask her offline. Shout out Stacy Galore. I sh I'll ask her offline if she want to interview the, the, the homosexual who said he was running around sleeping with um Gully TV. If she wants to do it, then I'll give the story to her. You understand? Because she just packed up the bishop. She just packed that whole thing up. Bishop Whitehead went out bad, bro. Bishop Whitehead went out bad. Bishop Whitehead, I would have had more respect if you just took your, your licking and kept on ticking. You understand? Because the thing about it is... You do the crime, you do the time. You understand? If you get caught and you get prosecuted and found guilty, then you got the, you got the, that's what it is, bro. You don't start grasping for straws and, dr and start dragging people down with you, bro. Sub told Sarnetta he better have captains. <laughs> Get out of here. Oh, Sub is on Sarnetta's heels too? Oh, this shit about to turn. Wicked. I hope I don't get brought into this. You understand? If he's going after Sarnetta, he's definitely going to go after Ten Toes. If he's going after Sarnetta... He's going to, Ten Toes is going to get brought into this, right? That's Sarnetta's first cousin. So by law, if Sub-Zero runs down on this nigga in the middle of a lecture, what's, <laughs> I was about to say Tafik, but Tafik ain't out here giving lectures. Tafik is out here on Hassan Campbell's heels. Allegedly, leave it to Hassan. You understand? This nigga Hassan is scared to death of Tafi. <laughs> huh? Can you imagine Tafi in the middle of a God body lesson? Sub Zero pop up out of nowhere on, <laughs> on side nutter. Y'all know how fast Ten Toes get from A to B, right? Let Saladin tell it. Y'all know how fast. Ten toes gets from A to B, right? I'm on the phone. It, it was that fast. He called to tell me some other shit. Yo, 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 yo. I can't really talk right now. This nigga behind the bars in the Bronx right now. He in the Bronx? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He in Bronx River houses right now. He doing the he doing a live. Oh, word? Alright. Talk to you later. Next thing you know, this nigga's in the bodega squeezing the the bacon out of this nigga's sandwich. Hmm? <laughs> you was good, but you wasn't that good, Ten. You couldn't get that nigga to un... <laughs> you couldn't get that nigga to loosen up off that goddamn sandwich. I bet you that. Huh? <laughs> I bet you all that bullshit karate you know, Ten. I bet that nigga wasn't loosening up off that sandwich, though. Never mind all that kicks and I'm not, all right, all right, all right. 
I bet you he wrote he rode home happier than a faggot in jail. Ooh, <laughs> I bet you that nigga was cheap. I got the footage, nigga. I got the footage. Happy. This nigga's whole marriage is in fucking shambles, huh? Shamble. Let me let me stop. He swear he's bringing solid dreams. Talk about my wife. <laughs> the, see, that's what I'm saying, right? Put it on solid D. I see these type of niggas, right? No, he's talking about this nigga threatened to fucking unravel your sandwich, Lord. And you gonna talk about a nigga that's nowhere around? Talk about it's my fault. I never threatened your sandwich, Lord. Never threatened your sandwich. Ooh, chat. <laughs> this nigga's crazy. You're crazy. That being your, that being your catchphrase is nuts. <laughs> it wouldn't be so nuts if you. If he was a cool nigga, you understand? But you riding around from state to state looking for smoke and your catchphrase is, ooh, child, is nuts, nigga. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, that could have only ended a couple of ways. Can't You can't do that, no more. Ooh, child. For glory's sake. You fucked up. <laughs> you were so gay and comfortable, you forgot. He even went as so far as that somebody edited the footage to make it look like he was in the bed and then contradicted himself and said, no, him and his homie rent, got in the bed because they don't sleep in the thing. He didn't even get his lie straight in real time. On Casolano, I gonna catch you, man. You know that. <laughs> Why'd you fuck with this nigga, Uncasa? <laughs> nigga, Uncasa talking about, yo, I always had respect for Sub. I don't even know how we, how we got here. It don't matter how we got here, beloved. We're here now. You understand? It, the, how we got here, I promise you, is irrelevant at this point, my nigga. It's irrelevant. It is. It is. Hmm? Hold up. Let's 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 hear that from Mukasa one more time. I, I don't even know how we got here. Hmm? What's that? Four thirty two? It's corny. It's whack. It's not gangster. Going back. I always respect this sub. I don't even know how I got into this space, but. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's corny. It's whack. I don't know how I got in this space. Listen, my nigga. You see the look on this nigga's face right here? I'm telling you, we all from the same spot. Do you look? Li listen, my nigga. Listen to Saladin. Listen to Saladin. This is the best help I could give you. Do you see the look on this nigga's face? Do not trust the smile at all. That is the face of Diablo, nigga. I promise you. You see when a nigga, like he, like, yo. When 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 he wants you so bad, he just starts to smile. Pause. Yeah, that's the loose screw. Whenever a nigga is so mad that he starts to smile, whenever a chick is so upset she just start laughing, nigga, leave. <laughs> I promise you, when all the when all the fuck you bitch 
suck my this when all of that's out the window and they start smiling and and joke and laughing nigga leave like just go just go somewhere for a while bro to this shit settle down I promise you I never trust a chick that just start laughing while we arguing. I feel like I got to throw her in the tr- like I want to do something bad to her. As soon as she start laughing, I know it's some dumb shit that's about to happen, bro. I know it's some dumb shit that's about to happen. Cause now she don't care no more. Now she about to tell you, oh, I was fucking my ex. That nigga got out two months ago. <laughs> It's about to go down, nigga. It's about to go down. Yeah. Retarded mode. Splice said, I used to do that before a fight. This is what I'm saying. We all from the same place, bro. We've seen this shit. So I don't know how he thought that he was going to do a video talking that brother Sharif shit. Thinking that that shit was gonna work. This, do you see the look on this nigga's face? Come on, Unkasi, you from the same place we all from, bro. Do it look like it's about to work on this nigga, or do he is his mind made up? You tell me, nigga. Or is his mind made up, nigga? This nigga's going to jail. <laughs> his mind's made up, Unkasi. <laughs> you should have watched your mouth. God damn. Up here calling niggas bozos. <laughs> yeah, that smile is what made unchanged. Yeah, that's the smile real. Yo, me. We all, we know this. We, no matter where you from, Bronx, Brooklyn, it don't matter. You see a nigga look at you like that, and he like, yeah. Nigga, you know what time it is. If you got your pipe on on you, just just let it fly right then and there, bro. He means you and your family no well, no good, no good. He means you niggas harm, bro. He said he got you. For glory's sake. On Casolano, I gonna catch you, man. You know that. This guy breathing all hard. He's nervous. I'm gonna catch you, on Casa. Oh, uh, I think the world know that you're not gonna shoot anybody. Oh, let me get you. Let me get your comments on the thing. I think I will walk. I think if you pull oh, out a gun, shit. I will walk up. Stick of Ming Rivers over here, double dipping. It's Ming. Ming is out here starting fucking shit in the, in the. <laughs> this nigga, Ming. As soon as he pull up the comments, look who's in the back. Huh? As soon as he pull up the comments, right there, your boy Ming is out here start. I knew. I already knew. I had a feeling Ming was out here lighting fires all over the place. And then saying it was fucking Venezuela that's doing all of this shit. Ming is everywhere out here representing TSTV. <laughs> Yo, Frankie said stuff looked like he still got coloring books. That's the problem. <laughs> that yo, I'm telling you, you can't do nothing with a old, a old. Special ed ass. I don't care about going back to jail ass nigga. That's the worst nigga you want on your heels, for real. Like, for real. For glory's sakes. That's the worst nigga you want on your heels, bro. The special ed nigga that don't care about nothing about going back to jail. Oh, that's your worst nightmare. 
He already said with a smile on his face, I was going to catch you. To it and take it. The world knows you're not going to shoot nothing to gun on. You're not, you're not going to jail. You're four feet seven. You weigh a buck 25 soaking wet and you're legally blind. <laughs> Mama, I love you. P.O.P. Hold it down. <laughs> oh, my God. Mama, I love you. P.O.P. Hold it down. Now, everything you said, Sub-Zero, you stink. You came to video shoots with all uh, bummy sneakers, all uh, you and the Dipset members, you got to be talking about Cam, Jimmy, and Jewels. Y'all said that I stink. And I said, oh, this is going to bring glory. This is reason to bring back my old pictures, yo. So I want to show the old pictures of me going to Dipset concerts and all that and showing up at Fat Joe's video shoots, P. Diddy video shoots. All right, let's, I think it's in this folder here. Let me get this folder here. And uh, also, the people looked at Sub-Zero War Uncut. And I got more subscribers to see the smutty shit that I do because I have no problem with women. You do. Two gun un, you're very ugly. <laughs> All right, let me. <laughs> Love this nigga sub, man. For glory's sakes. For glory's sakes. Damn, un. Now they got Sanetta in the middle of this bullshit. One week later. I pray Ten Toes is not going to end up in the middle of this bullshit. I don't know what Sonetta said to piss off Sub, right? Damn. This is crazy. Let me show y'all who I'm talking about first. Oh, uh, this is Two Gun Un, Un Casalano, son. Let me show you what I'm dealing with, man. I got the homies looking, y'all. Big homies. Uh, holla at John Lux, man. Respect. I know what the family's going through. This is who I'm beefing with, y'all. <laughs> Some shit that looked like this. What the fuck is this? Damn. Roasting him. What is this going to do when I run down on this? Look at this boy. You know he beats his dick every night. <laughs> Roasting you, un. Damn. Damn. Look at this shit. Hey, ladies in the timeline, and I'm gonna have your live. Wait, wait. Is he? Does he have on a fucking gully hat? You are here rocking. You out here rocking gully knits? <laughs> huh? What is what does gully call his fits? What does he call that shit? The dribble. Oh, the dribble. This nigga has on the dr the drizzle. <laughs> the dribble knits. He's out here with the dribble knit. Oh, damn, Casa. Yeah, the gully head that. <laughs> Got him. Got him. For you? Because you my man, $49.99. Cause I you know what I'm saying? I know you need that dribble in your life. Ugh, disgusting. And I'm gonna have y'all live. Y'all date this thing? Would y'all date this? Even if he had money, let's make believe he got money. Would y'all date this? Check him out. Come on. It might be. It, it could have been hard, Frankie. It could have been. You understand? It is, but not the dribble. I'm not buying it from the dribble master. 
You understand? If common, if common came through and was like, "Yo, Saladin, I fuck with you, beloved," and I opened up the box and it was the, the yellow joint. You know what I'm saying? I, 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 I might fuck with it. You know what I'm saying? But no way in the world, no way in the world. I'm wherever and Gully come through, yo, Saladin ain't really no hard feelings, my nigga, you know what I'm saying? And, and to show that I got you a dribble piece, I'm never, come on, bro, what are we doing? What are we doing? <laughs> I'm never wearing the dribble, bro. Ever wearing the dribble, Lord. Please, hold that. Well, ladies in here, man, come on, right now, because I need this nigga to see it in real time. Oh, I'm, I'm all the way. The Real Gully TV. Yo, shout out to Real Gully TV. Thank you for that advice. I did use your thing. Shout out to, shout out to Two Gun On. Check it out. Two Gun On. Oh, they was both? Uh, uh, it's all fun and games to a nigga. <laughs> this, is what I, this is why I hate the end of the end. Uncasa, was, he started off his, un, his other video talking about, yo, the internet. I hate this shit. You don't hate it enough. You out here trolling in the comment section, nigga? You thought shit was sweet? Why would you poke the bear? Why would you instigate a nigga that hails Hitler doing... <laughs> Anybody that's hailing Hitler doing his show just to piss off the Jews... That's not the nigga you going at on cousin. You understand? They already locked this nigga up, sent him to Rikers, the whole shit. Nigga came out and ate that. Give a fuck. You out here in dribble hats, instigating fights with the wrong people, blood. Two gun on. Two gun on. Where's the ladies at, yo? Hey, ladies, would y'all date two gun on? This is him right here, y'all. Two gun on. Check him out. Ugly motherfucker. I know you beat your dick and thumb your ass every night because when you beat your dick, you turn into a freak. Huh? God. Check him out. Look how look at his little arms. <laughs> if you do got the tiny arms, my nigga. You got Heineken behind you? Who's that Heineken? You do got the tiny arms on. They do look kind of deformed, bro. You gotta stop this, bro. Nah, my nigga. Those is tiny arms, my nigga. Damn. This shit crazy. That's what's going to happen. You're going to get a good man fucked up. That's what Fendi trying to do. When it gets funky, he hide behind Fab's gang or Jada Kiss's entourage. You faggot motherfucker. Come out and play, nigga. Those 300 pounds, nigga. Come in the basketball court. Let's shake out for old time's sakes. Mm. This you ain't. You, this is who you wanted to get hit. This is the energy you wanted on <laughs> Ukasa. <laughs> watch the, watch all that bozo shit and all that. You got to watch it, guys. Nah, those ain't even. Those ain't even the stretch arms, bro. Those really look malnutritious. That's not a good look ever. Ever. Those arms. Damn. Right? So this don't got nothing to do with Loaded Lux's brother. All that church shit you was talking in, in the beginning blood you could knock that off this got something to do with you letting your mouth 
write checks that they can't cash, and now you done ran into a, a, a loose cannon ass nigga. He's he want to shake it out. You know, young boy, you my age, nigga. Let's go, let's go do it for for laughs, nigga. We both put the footage on YouTube and shit. We won't do that. We won't do that. I was talking about nigga this Jada. Yeah, this Jada. Jada's a whore. I think Jada's a female, a drag. I think it's gonna come out and they're gonna say he was really a woman. The chemicals is wearing off. We starting to see it now. I, I said that. I said that. You ain't gonna know where it's coming from. Nigga, when it come, it better not be an arm distance because I'm gonna hit it. All right, okay, I know. I don't, I'm not good at talking shit and I look soft, man. You might think I'm pussy. Look what I'm dealing with, man. Two gun un, check them out. Look at this little worm. That's what I'm dealing with, man. Dipset, dipset all day. You Muslim now. So you start the video off with Muslim. Assalamu alaikum wa Huh? Because that, that's a call for help already. Now you, you hope the Muslim side with your little punk ass. Right, right, right. You get it. You get it. You get it. When it gets funky. Right. You get it. You know and dudes on. are in gangs, uh -huh. right? Talk. Yeah, I got to go back to jail or uh, with the talk. We catch little worms like you taking a shit or piss. And we jump in the cell and we lock ourselves in with you. All you can do is scream. You don't get out into the riot squad come. So all you could do is, hey, yo, this nigga falling. Yo, this nigga. Hey, yo, 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 yo. And your boys is at the bar. We're going to kill you, nigga. We're going to keep talking to me. But they can't get in because I'm locked in. Which you, it's what you can do by yourself, little man. You're not even a man. Didn't I say that at the beginning of my video? Damn. I didn't even watch this video. And me and Sub is saying the same thing. Right? I'm not even going to get into the rest of my show because it's all, we already we just passed the two hour mark and I'm not trying to make this like a three hour video or nothing like that. But I just finished saying the same thing. These gangs have gave people the persona like extra confidence for no reason because by yourself niggas is soft, bro. So, okay, you tough with 30 niggas. As, I mean, you with 30 niggas, bro. Right? Yeah, you're going to pound somebody out. You got 30 niggas. Yeah, you're going to pound somebody out. Anyway, y'all better watch it. Anyway, you gangs, you better watch it. Yeah, you gangs, you better watch it. Because I'm starting to think that they letting these illegals over here for a reason. Oh, it's going to make sense in a second, right? Because, listen, if you think these people got shit else to do but plan and strategize on how they're going to divide and conquer, right? See, the white man, he's had enough time to build up guns in his bunker and they got white militias that's out here with the shits, right? Now, they not, I don't care how much the white militias have, you, they're going to be no match for the United Nations when the Na United Nations get here and the National Guard. They're going to be no match, right? They might have been a match if the white and black men, the uh, neighbors could get together. It might have been a match. But I got a feeling that the United States, this is just my own theory. I could be dead ass wrong. I got a feeling the United States is letting in all these immigrants so that black men, you will never even get to unite with the white men. 
It's later for that. You going? They got Venezuelans all in your fucking <laughs> neighborhood right now. Niggas is running out, running a muck through these neighborhoods. Now the judges are saying, no, 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 they got gun rights. They got gun rights. This is the legals. How the fuck they got gun rights? Next thing you know, they're going to have voter rights. I didn't get jumped by 30 people, but it was like seven. But I can't really say I got jumped because none of them had got a hit off. It was a bunch of swings and none of them like connected. Now, I was supposed to get, we were supposed to talk about math tonight, but we're not going to get it to, to we're not going to get into it tonight because there's no time, right? And I don't want to change the energy, but math, we have to talk about this interview with, from the soul, right? We just, we, we have to, bro. Um, Other nasty thing. No, we're not going to do this now. We're not going to do this now. We're not going to do this. Because Mav has a voice. And I, I guess this is why they say there's two sides to every story. Mav has a voice where uh, Brian Williams say, drop the link. I can't. This ain't um, Brian. I did this on OBS. So I can't drop the link. I can't drop the link. I did it on OBS. There's no link. I ain't do this on StreamYard tonight. No, that's a fact. Frankie Blanco. Frankie Blanco said they could definitely use them to enforce martial law. No bias. So it just is what it is, right? I'm just saying what it is, right? Um, I'm talking about all immigrants. I'm not just, I'm not talking about just Venezuelans. That's the only thing they've been showing on the news. The Venezuelans is not the only one immigrants that's coming through. They got all type of Africans that came through. They got all type of Middle Easterns that came through. They got all type of Chinese people that came through. So we have to ask ourselves why? Or, you know, this could be an elite, this some type of group or force that we know nothing about, that obviously they do know, right? They know their mission. They are over here. Now, again, we only know what we, what we see. They could be showing us that immigrants are coming through and they're causing um, all type of havoc in New York City, right? And as they showing us that, our focus is where? New York, New York, New York. How do we know that they're not shipping all these people to the middle, middle of America, right? They got training out there. They beefing them up. They getting ready. We don't know. So all they saying is the Venezuelans and they keep talking about these Ecuadorian. Or all, they make it seem like it's just South American people. It's not just South American immigrants. It's all type of black Africans. It's all type of um, Middle Easterns, Chinese men. It's all type of people. So how do we know when they when they ring the alarm? How do we know when they give the sign? They just don't shut down your whole neighborhood. What you going to do? They all got AK-48 sevens. Assault rifles. Or some other shit. They may have some other shit. Fuck around, they got a frequency machine. What is you going to do? You going to do jack shit. You going to do, 
Let me tell you something. Since we're on the topic, I didn't really want this to be a three-hour, four-hour show. But since we already on the topic, um, where did I see that? I seen it on the Forbes. Hold up. Let me just check my email real quick. Let me check my email real quick. They said 300 million jobs are about to be affected by AI. 300 million jobs? Hold up. I think I sent it to myself. Ah, it wasn't this one. Let me just check my other email. I might have sent it to that one. Because I want to open up the... I want to show you. The Forbes. This is an article in Forbes. Just the other day they did this. Nah. Here we go. There we go. There we go. Goldman Sachs predicts 300 million jobs will be lost. Yep. Right? So, as that, as that, article populates my question is this we know for a fact that they're lying about the jobs right all these jobs they talk about is being added they can't be being added more and more jobs are being people are being let go now i chose my profession technology because i felt that was safe but little did i know how unsafe programming is right now the head of uh the nvidia or if that's how you say it nvidia uh, the head of open ai sam altman even said there's not going to be a need for coders sam altman let me try to pull it up for you Try to pull it up for you. Here it goes right here. Four days ago. Sam Altman. Open AI Q start is still secret. And Sam says coding will go away. So how do you... You know how devastating that is? You telling someone not to fear. Um, don't worry. Your, ch your child is in their second semester of college trying to finish so they can come out and be a programmer. First of all, these salaries are a bubble right now. It's a salary bubble right now, right? So you're looking at salaries, 175, 200. I don't understand some of these human beings on earth the housing market is in a straight bubble again right there's no reason that rent should be five thousand dollars in some of these tiny ass places in in wherever they're in new york new jersey you go to jersey city five thousand dollars we don't see that there's a there's a bubble it can't last. How? Why would you extend someone's salary that high 
knowing you're going to have to get rid of this person, right? Now, you know what that does to you? Once you make you alone, when you alone make 175, never mind what your wife bringing in. You alone making 175. Do you understand what that does to you? Does to your mind, right? You taking trips to wherever for the week. You taking trips to Dubai for the weekend, right? You going out to Switzerland. Not only are they paying you 175, you working remote. Do you see the type of setup this is for a lot of people? It's not only a setup for for the poor people. It's set up for, it's setting up a lot of people. So the people who's making who's making these salaries right now, I can only pray that they do right with the money, because when the gavel drops, and it's going to drop. Let me show you something. Let me show you something. Internet is acting wacky again, but I'm going to try to show y'all something. It's not going to let me show you, so I'm not going to, um, I'm not going to waste your time. So. Let me just read this for you. Let me just read this part. Coding will go away. We will just talk to AI to describe what we want and AI will create it in code. Sam still will not talk about open AI QSTAR. Therefore, we know it still is a real big thing. So I was going to play some things and show you some things that Sam is working on, right? But the, the internet is acting kind of rocky right now. So this this real artificial generation generative AI that's something to look out for, right? I was going to show you uh, something else called Sora. There's something else called Eleven Labs. There's a lot of AI that is going on right now. When you put them together, right? When you put Chat GPT together with Whisper together with Eleven Labs. Together with Sora, I promise you, you don't even need a human being. Never mind if we add physical robots, right? Never mind if we add a physical robot. When you add just those things alone, you don't need a prom a, 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 a coder. I seen some shit today. Ooh, I signed up for it. I forgot what it's called. Um, and I know the browser is going to act stupid, so I'm not going to try to pull it up for you right now. But all you do is speak to it, and it opens up the, the windows for you to start coding. It does it off your voice. It's crazy. It's already here. So, all of that... 175,000 you was paying this dude and this girl. That's going to be dramatically dropped, right? But guess what? They had already went out and brought a house or this apartment based off of that salary. Right? So it affects everybody. It doesn't just affect the poor. If you poor, ready, and you no, know, it, it's going to affect everybody. So many job people are going to be out of work. So that's going to cause a totally different frequency in the community, right? You guys got to listen. You got to pay attention. I'm not telling you this to scare you. I'm just telling you this to open up your eyes because it's not coming. It's already really here, but they're trying to hide the fact through numbers and they keep telling us all these jobs are being coming out. No, no, no. They're lying. Jobs are being slashed. Jobs are being slashed. So.
So why do you think they would let this many immigrants in and not explain why they letting immigrants in? It's kind of like when academics asked Loose Cannon, the police never looked and asked why you called Nipsey 13 minutes before he passed away, before he got shot. And Loose Cannon gave some ridiculous rebuttal about God knows what, about numbers being blocked, and that's why he don't answer blocked numbers. What? That's the same. That's the same type of nonsensical conversation we get when we like, yo, why are you letting so many illegals in here anyway? Yo, fuck Trump. <laughs> right? All of this stupidness. They trying to put it off on Fannie Willis and Nathan, Nathan Wade couldn't get hard anyway. What? She said, I will not disrespect a black man. What are you you talking about? I said, I will not disrespect him by telling you he couldn't get up for the cause. He couldn't get with the program. He can't get hard. Is that what you want me to say? Miss Fanny, nobody asked you anything about none of that. What are you talking about? So while that whole circus act is going on over there, Every week, they still letting in 5,000 immigrants. Where the fuck is they going? They throwing us off with this bullshit about, yo, the immigrants is beating up police. These was fucking five scrawny ass uh, immigrants. Bro, where the fuck is the hundreds of thousands of immigrants that's coming in here? Anyway, they talk about they squatting in people's houses and and they're letting them give the house. They're creating space for them. They're letting it fly. The bigger question, never mind the frustration at the fact that they're doing it because they're doing it. I guess the bigger question for us right now is why the fuck are they doing it? Right? So now you know how to better prepare because they're doing it. It's, 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 we're past the point whether or not it's right or if Trump would have never let, listen, they they don't want Trump in there because you're right. Trump would have never let. But guess what? It don't matter because Trump is not in that seat. So never mind the blame game now. The fact is, they playing this out. So, again, I don't have time for poetry. Right? Not like with all this shit going on. Chemicals in the food, not just chemicals. It's not just when we say chemicals in the food, it's not that simple. I wish it was that simple until you do the until you research it a little bit more. Then you realize it's not, this is not chemicals. This is a program. You put gene silence in, you put gene regulation. Gene regulation can silence your genes. You're putting programs into fucking food. That's a little bit different from chemicals in the food. There's a lot going on. There's a lot going on. Alright. Um I appreciate everybody. I see Mac Mizzle's in the house. Shout out to Wax Dog. Splashing was over here. We had a good time. Shout out to Santiago. Um, shout out to everybody, man, that came through. Frankie Blanco was here. Uh, the real Ming E. Rivers was in the building. Um, Big Killer from the Gifts and the Curse podcast was here. My boy Spection was here. I ain't seen Spection in a minute. Shout out to Spection. Um... Venezuela Reyes was over here kicking up dust, starting shit. Um, shout out to Kush. Shout out to the whole West Coast. You know what I'm saying? My boy Kush over there in the Bay. Stacy Galore came over. You understand? She she was over here building with the guards. 
We rebuilding Weavers over here. Shout it out. May 4th is the fight. It's still going down. Um, I should have some footage for you guys next week on the fight. I have some footage for you guys. Um, that being said, I think I'm going to end the show. I don't think the whole Incasa, Uncasa, and uh, Sub Zero thing is going to do anything because um, I I I got a feeling Uncasa's body language and everything is going to he's going to let it be known he don't want no static. He already said that I I always respected Sub. I don't even know how we got here, so he's already giving you the vibes. He don't want no problems. He don't want no problems, bro. So, and I think, um, I don't think Sub is going to take advantage of that. He, he might want to embarrass him a little bit and just G-check him. Oh, after that, it's going to be a wrap and we'll go on with life. And he'll, he can go back to doing poetry. Uh, is, it, is it a great time for doing poetry? Uh, no, it's not. I'm gonna, let me keep it real with you. It's very hard to drop a poetry album right now and anyone really listen. It has to be... It has to be from the heart. It has to be from the soul. Fab just dropped a project and it wasn't like, first of all, it was hot. It wasn't that it wasn't hot, but I don't know why it was. Where can, where the fuck can I listen to this album, Fab? I tried to listen to it. I have Amazon. I, I couldn't get it there. So I don't know if Fab is still dropping shit on datpiff.com. He's in his own, he's in his own world. You understand? I like Fab because he, he does it. He does music. It's like, it's not all a bunch of glamoury street bullshit, right? But whatever you into, because we all vibrate at different frequencies. So that's where you might be in your life. That's just what it is. That's the lens you're looking out of, right? That's that's what it is. Um, I'm not looking at that through that lens. That's a fact. No doubt, B Dolo. All right. That being said, y'all, I'm about to go in the bedroom with my wife and watch Murder She Wrote. Right? She's on this Murder She Wrote shit now. It was uh, Golden Girls. Now we're fucking watching Murder, She Wrote every night. I'll be happy when we go back to Deal or No Deal. She can feel the remote, right? I'm like, I'm waiting for her so I could hear the snoring. And then I reach over and grab the remote so I can watch what I want to watch. And she's like, what, 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 what? What's going on? I'm not asleep. You are asleep. Stop trying to ruin my shows. Right? So I'm about to go in there and do two hours of this nonsense before I can go and watch my own network, Beyond You TV. Because, um, what was I trying to get to? Oh, I'm in the middle of <sighs> Wu-Tang Season 2. And the Tulsa King will be there tomorrow. Just to let you know. Uh, Into the Spideyverse was dope. They kind of ended it letting you know there was going to be a, a three. So, that was dope. Um... The beekeeper was dope. Splashing had us. I, I had nothing else better to do. So I'm like, let me watch this fucking beekeeper. And shit was dope. I had my whole family watching it. Beekeeper was dope. All right. That being said. You guys have a good night. And I'll probably see y'all tomorrow. Um, Uncasa, be easy out here. Like, <laughs> easy. Look both ways when crossing the street. You heard? Little more.